Good morning, welcome to the Phoenix Blue Update on Tuesday the 6th of December, presented this morning by Tom Colley. Yesterday in the markets, we when, when we had the video yesterday morning, we'd seen um, a reaction, particularly on the euro, to the results of the Italian referendum. Um, that was very quickly forgotten by the markets. We saw a complete reversal and we actually saw a bullish euro um, through to the close yesterday. Before we look at the charts, look at the, look at the news as usual. Um, we had positive PMI services with some good data coming in um, on the pound. Um, we didn't see a great deal of reaction, but the markets, with the exception of reversing the um, the result of the, or not the result, but the influence of the Italian referendum, basically uh, reversing that, with the exception of that, the markets were relatively subdued in terms of reaction to the news. Um, we also had the ISM non-manufacturing PMI on the dollar. Again, little reaction to that. Um, overnight, uh, we've had the um, RBA cash rate statement with uh, the Australian interest rates being held at 1.5%, completely as expected, nothing significant coming out of the statement, and um, that's reflected with a lack of movement on the Aussie in response to that. Um, going forward today, we've got the trade balance on the Canadian dollar. We've got the GDT dairy price index for the Kiwi. We've got Governor Wheeler speaking, um, the Governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand uh, this evening, and then gross domestic product um, for Australia overnight tonight. But really, I think the reason the markets are potentially quiet is because all eyes are ahead to a major event later this week which is the ECB rate um, announcement and rate statement interest there being more about um, ongoing um, easing policy and then obviously next week we've got the Fed announcement um, that similarly we're looking although the uh, Fed rate rise is almost guaranteed as far as the market's concerned um, the information that comes from Janet Yellen about further rate rises going into 2017 is what the markets will be watching for okay so over on the dollar we actually end up with a big bearish bar yesterday on the dollar um, we'd seen this anyway it, the dollar didn't seem to see, have the same reaction to um, the the Italian election as the euro it wasn't as significant we were still seeing some downside um, on this when we were also seeing downside on the euro yesterday what we do have is a very very large um, bearish engulfing bar which would suggest that we're going to see further downside to the dollar through today, uh, maybe through the rest of the week, or certainly to some things such as the ECB statement um, has an effect later in the week. Um, we will be watching this. We've been looking for some form of correction on the US dollar. You can see I've got some levels marked here. We'll be looking to correlate any reaction um, on a turn back to the long side with um, other markets, particularly the majors and minors in that respect. Respect. Over to the euro, sorry, yen first. Um, the yen, interestingly, still remains um, weak despite a weakening of the dollar that you've seen on that big bearish bar um, yesterday. We've still got a bullish bar um, on the yen from yesterday. We're still in this channel or above this trend line, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, we'll be looking for that to break to the downside if we see. Um, a continuation um, on that dollar correction. Um, alternatively, if we if we have hit the bottom of that correction, or we see uh, we don't see another move down, we could potentially see more upside to this. Um, watching a couple of levels here, if we do get that break. Um, but again, we're really influenced by the dollar as we have been um, for weeks and weeks. Um, so we'll be looking to um, take advantage of any pullback correlated with the dollar index at a level to reverse back into yen weakness. Over on the euro, well, this is um, the result of the Italian referendum. When we spoke yesterday, um, price was right down at this support level here. Very quickly, um, almost 
you know first thing uh, on the uh, European session that that was reversed we then thought um, a bullish move through and we see what is is now a significant um, engulfing bear, a bullish engulfing bar there the question now is as with the um, the dollar index is where are we going to see um, price pull back to in that respect we've clearly got a level here um, which are relatively close to, but we'll be correlating that very much with the dollar, but also have in mind the ECB rate statement uh, out on Thursday afternoon. Over on the pound, the pound remains very strong, um, to be expected. It remains strong even when um, through the dollar move to the long side following the um, Trump election win. Um, we've seen that strength through. This is the market we're focused on this week. We're looking to buy the pound and pullbacks against most of the other currencies um, because of that strength that it's continued um, to uh, uh, pursue through um, even through dollar strength so when we see if we see a bigger correction on the dollar that should give us the opportunity to really leverage the benefits of that pound strength okay over on the S&P another um, big engulfing bar a bullish one this time again quite possibly this is the reaction or the uh, knee-jerk reaction to the uh, Italian referendum, then the understanding that in itself it, it doesn't create a risk event. The risk event, from my perspective, is if we see a uh, Italian general election called the first quarter of next year, um, there is a high risk of a, an anti-EU um, party win in that election so that would um, cause great concern uh, in the eurozone um, so again here we we bullish all equities markets seasonally very strong um, through this part of the year we haven't had a lot of opportunity um, in this market unfortunately because of the this big uh, bar here which was the result of the Trump election um, however we are still on the S&P looking for a break of this higher pullback um, to what would have become support to take it to the long side through to the end of the year um, the Dow interestingly did make make new highs yesterday um, and on the reverse side of the risk on risk off picture we did see um, a, a, a weakness in gold um, which to a certain extent recovered by the end of the day. Um, another market that we're very interested on the equities side is the DAX. I've mentioned this before, but it was a number of weeks ago now. This is such a beautiful chart. We've got this superb um, downward trend line here. We've got a level of support through here that has been beautifully, uh, the price has been uh, obeying it com um, completely through this period here. But whilst it's had quite a volatile time through the Trump election and whatever, it still remained um, very much um, true to this downward trend line here. So we're now clearly waiting for a break ab above um, the resistance there to retake uh, for price to pull back to what will then be support to take that trade to the long side through the end of the year. So hopefully um, we'll finally see a break on that. Um, we won't be doing anything clearly before we see that. Um, so, um, but potentially if we get that breakthrough the next couple of days we could see um, uh, some nice profits in this market some nice pips through to the end of the year clearly the ECB is going to be an influence on this market on Thursday as well okay guys that's it for today it's the um, protege group boot camp this morning um, if you are wanting to keep track of what we're up to phoenix blue trading instagram um, keep an eye on there you'll see uh, updates on trades we're in updates on new trades we're looking at that haven't been mentioned um, on the video we're also on twitter okay guys have a great day's trading and we'll speak to you again in the morning